Some of the country's best half marathon runners, including Doka Sajok, Moses Kurong, Robert Chemonges, and Rachel Chebet Zena, have confirmed participation at this Sunday's half marathon championship. Many of these top runners have run races of late. So the way is open for the upcoming to, to come on the stage and also to, 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 to win money. Those who are not able to go abroad to run can now win three million here. It is to start and end in Lugogo, but will go through places like Yusuf Lure Road, Kira Road, and Lugogo Bypass. What is okay, you come to the road so long as you don't congregate in, in one place. Because it is a lot of distance. You can find a space somewhere where they will be passing. I've already told you the route. You can stand there and watch them pass because they're going to pass twice. And uh, so long as you don't congregate and you keep the social distance, it's okay. This marathon will officially welcome the first ever road run and cross-country electronic timer that Uganda Athletics Federation has acquired. Many believe it's been the missing link for Uganda's sustained success and will also enable sports tourism because events in Uganda will now attract foreign entries seeking qualification to global engagements. And this has been a very big, big, big challenge to, to Uganda because most of our athletes, because uh, we don't have that facility, they were yearning to, to, to go for competition outside the country where they have such facilities. But now that we have them around, I think there'll be no need for, for them to go outside. About 10 Ugandans, including Susan Lake and Pius Ochilange, have been trained by German instructor Lance Spath on how to handle the device. John Burns, Sentamo, reporting.